And so as pastors, we have somewhere along the line been taught we are what we that because we live uh, within the, the world of ministry, that ministry is what we're not. Uh, ministry is what we do, it's what we're passionate about, maybe what we're good at, uh, but it isn't who we are. There is something uh, deeper in us, and we have to step away to find that. And when you have an opportunity to completely get away, um, one, it gives you a different perspective on your church, but secondly, it also gives you a chance just to take a breath and to spend some time with your family. And the cruise part of it was so powerful because we didn't have to do anything. I mean, we were waited on hand and foot, no worrying about cooking or cleaning or those kinds of, I mean, just making decisions about what we were going to eat or do uh, was absolutely so relaxing. The challenges we were up against, it was like, what am I going to eat today? What fun adventure am I going to discover today? Which is so much different than the regular stressors that we experience as pastors. We knew that everything was safe. I felt safer than I did in my own community. And it was very, very encouraging how Royal Caribbean handled that. So it just all was a positive experience. It actually felt safer um, there than back in Alabama where the numbers were rising. And I think that Royal, Royal Caribbean did an amazing job with that hospitality and with the safety aspect of it. From the moment we got there, we were so well taken care of. Things just looked like uh, they were just as clean and thorough as they could be. But on the other side, uh, my experience on the ship, on the cruise ship, was wonderful. It did not um, get compromised at all uh, with COVID restrictions. We were able to just walk off and do whatever it was that we wanted to do. So we booked a couple of excursions, but we were able to just go and do what we wanted. And we really used this cruise as downtime. I didn't take any religious books with me. I took some other things to read and enjoy. Uh, it was so fun being with um, the other, uh, some of our fellow pastors in an experience that wasn't necessarily work related that we got to spend more than an hour with. So we really felt like we got to know them. This was an amazing opportunity for my son and I just to get away and spend some time together. I had heard about other pastors going on cruises just because it was one way that they could uh, actually get away for a few days. And so for the first time, and I can't remember how long, my son was without Fortnite and video games, and I was without my cell phone with no access to emails. And it was pretty amazing just to completely step away and to have that time to spend just with my son um, and not worry about the pressures and the responsibilities of the church. So travel has been very important for me, uh, very important in the, in the life of my preaching uh, because it affords me opportunities to share some of these experiences with my congregation. But I, I think also travel just enhances my personal spiritual life and, and well-being, uh, taking the time off, seeing new things, being exposed to other cultures, all that stuff has been really powerful in my ministry, I, I believe. I would really encourage people to do some things that aren't necessarily work-related and are rest-related and are just sort of relationship-building related. Well, you're always going to have bills. You're always going to have responsibility. Uh, I would, you know, and for now to say, you're always going to have stuff you feel like you have to do and stuff that can't wait. But Going and traveling gives you life experiences, creates memories, and builds up this joy within you. Um, and, and it's kind of trying to say, you know, traveling and, and doing things makes life fun. So I would say, you know, as soon as you plan it, plan it and go and do. The rest of the stress will be here when you get back. I just think it's a real gift that you can give yourself. Uh, is, is time, not just time away, but time that's a little deeper than just entertainment. Uh, I think it's, uh, it, it's Sabbath time, which we have to build into our lives. Uh, what kind of leaders would we be if we're not taking care of our own souls? I cannot remember the last time that uh, I went on an international trip and wasn't responsible for everybody and everything that happened. So this was absolutely an amazing experience for me and I'm so grateful.
Do it. Do it. They do it now. Don't wait. <laughs> I think especially in difficult times, in stressful times, that retreat travel is a one great way that you can rest, get your soul renewed, and come back recharged for more fabulous ministry.